Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. Today is also Make a Gift Day. The gift will be even more special because you made it. It was thoughtful of you to think of that person and make it. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. It could be a card. This card, I know it's hard to see because it's an old one. And it says, Mrs. Buchanan, Mrs. Boo. Mrs. Boo. There's a reason she calls me Mrs. Boo. And it's a card. And she just wrote a special message for me. She said that, Miss Buchanan, you're the funniest librarian I've ever had. And then she wrote a whole message for me. I've kept it all these years because Carly is 20, she's probably 25 maybe, 20, yeah, I think she's probably about 25. Now she's married. Yeah, married and has a dog. Anyway, Carly had used to try to scare me in the library all the time. So she was leaning in the door to scare me one day and I came up behind her and I scared her. So that's why she calls me Miss Boo. So I've got that. a teacher. A teacher gave me a special present. You're not going to believe it. She gave me an iPad. An iPad. iPads are expensive. Oh my goodness. But she made it for me and gave it to me. I'm in the shadow. An iPad! <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty creative. You want to give somebody an iPad? That would be an awesome present. Let's see what else I have. I have one that student made me for Christmas. Actually, the whole family made it. It says, love the Hansons, 2009. So, the gifts don't have to be much. They, they could be as simple as a card. This one, they went and bought the snowman and bought the little wood pieces and painted it themselves and glued it on. Um, let's see what else. A flower. A flower from Walmart that they cut off of the little bouquets. She cut it off and then she taped it to a pen and she bought that green florist tape. And she you can do painter's tape. And she taped it up. And so now I have a flower pen I could write with. Here's a rose in a vase. You guys know how much I like roses. This student's about 28. Yeah, about 28. She gave it to me for teacher appreciation. Just beads and a flower, a rose. And this one was clothes pins. And made it look, painted it to look like a nutcracker. So paint and clothespins, and I guess they've got some felt on here, the felt for the costume. And let's see what else. <gasps> Just a matchbox, and wrapped it in paper, and there's candy. In okay, so maybe when a student gives you candy, you might not want to keep the candy very long. But love the packaging for it, and the candy that was in it flowers. It's a bouquet. This one was my son. It says Reese. So my son made this one for me. My daughter made this one for me. She knows how much I love Harry Potter. So she made this for me and it was a wooden dowel. I wish I would have brought a wooden dowel in here with me. It's just a, a little uh, wood, wood stick. A little round wooden stick that you paint. She painted it. Well, first she put hot glue on it. So can you see the hot glue on the, the ball? So, and then she put hot glue all the way down the stem, or down, not the stem, but the wooden dowel, the piece of wood. So you could go pick up a stick and do it. And then she painted it brown, and she hot glued the ball on top, the little crystal ball. She made that for me. She painted it to look like a stick. And so now it is a wand. You guys have seen this too because I have this in the library. And look, an origami box. My husband made this for me when before we got married, when we were dating. It's a box he made from origami. He does origami too, just like me. Perfect match. I think that's why we're together. I do believe it probably is. It is an origami marriage. And guess what? I don't even remember what the present was that was in here. It was the box that I remember. It was the box that was special. 
I don't, I don't remember what he put in there. It was something that he had bought and put in there. And I love whatever it was he bought, but the box is what I remember. And somebody made something for you guys last year. Did you guys see this hanging up? A student made it for all of you. This was a message for all of you. Something for all of you. And she taped it up where we turn books in for you guys to see. It says, be smart, be kind, be caring, be joyful, just be who you are. Is that not sweet? A gift for you that she made. So how about making a gift for someone today? Even if it's just a card, make a gift for someone today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our weather forecast today is a high of 57 with a low of 37, and it will be sunny. It's been sunny a lot. I like that. Although it did rain the other day. Was that yesterday? I guess it was yesterday. But I like the sun. It makes me feel warmer. Don't forget to sign up for CMS Eats at Home. Check out our class book, Facebook class book. Sorry. Facebook page or class dojo for more information. Or you can sign up at the web address shown on the screen. Okay, Pa Cecilia is up next. and information. Please keep sending your videos to Mr. Perez at the address shown on the screen. Now for a Seela Junior moment. It's dark. What am I? Hmm. Hmm. It's a little dark in here. I need to turn on the light. Yeah, that's too bright. Let me turn it back down. Oh, wait. That's too dark. Up, bright, down, dark. What? It's a light switch? It is a light switch. When you turn the light switch up, it's bright. And when you turn it off or point down, it's dark. It was a light switch. Did any of you get that one? That was a tricky one. I'm going to get my family with that one. I'm going to try it, see if they can get that one. All right, today's riddle. If you have two coins, which total 35 cents, and one of the coins is not a dime, what are the two coins? You have two coins. They total up to 35 cents, but one of them is not a dime. What are the two coins? A math riddle. Oh my goodness. That's a real nail biter. Are you going to get it? Are you going to get it? Oh, I bet you some of you already got it. Did you already get it? You guys are so super smart. Oh, and some of you are still working on it? Yeah? I bet you're going to get this riddle. 
Good luck. I'll see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana.